Okay, good afternoon. First of all, I'm Peggy Johnson. I have the wonderful opportunity to be the principal here at Loveland High School. And Drews Mitchell and I and the entire faculty and administration are so excited to do this today, just FYI. <laughs> We've talked about it and talked about it. And the fact that you've all been willing to come is just an honor, so thank you. Um, at this time, please rise for the presentation of the colors by the American Legion, post 256. American Legion Post 256, permission to post colors. Permission to post colors. Present. Hold. Hold. Will you please join us in the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Order. Hold. Shoulder. Hold. Left. Height. Hold. Hold. Thank you so much. You may be seated. At this time, we'd like to recognize the veterans who are in our audience today. We have a wonderful uh, collection of branches of service, uh, Loveland graduates, Loveland faculty members, um, and again, supporters of students here at Loveland High School. We're gonna list everyone in alphabetical order, and we'll announce uh, name, uh, branch of service, years of service, and affiliation with Loveland High School. We ask that you please stand and be recognized when your name is called if you are a veteran, and everyone else, please do hold your applause until the end. So again, we will announce everyone in alphabetical order. Veterans, please stand as your name is called. First, Bill Adkins, who served in the Army, Navy, and the United States Marine Corps. Years of service from 1994 until 2009. Steve Almond, United States Marine Corps, 1987 to 1990, our school resource officer. Bob Bronner, United States Navy, 1967 to 1971, a Loveland High School graduate. Ron Bronner, United States Army, 1971 to 1973, a Loveland High School graduate. Dave Castile Sr., United States Army, 1969 to 1972, a Loveland High School graduate. John Cooper, Navy, 1993 to 1997. Paul Kamel, United States Army, 1969 to 1972, a Loveland High School graduate. Bob Drexelius, United States Navy, 1981 to 1988, a, a Loveland High School faculty member. Brian Gillow, United States Army, 2000 to 2005. Scott Gordon, United States Marine Corps, 1992 until 1997, a Loveland High School graduate. Bruce Hawk, United States Navy, 2001 until 2005, a Loveland High School graduate. John Hominy, United States Army, 1969 to 1974. Matt Mize, United States Army, 2006. Pat Mongroth, Morgan Roth, I apologize, United States Army, 1961 to 1971. Tom Oskamp, United States Army, 1965 to 1968. Chris Springborn, United States Navy, a Loveland High School faculty member. 
Terry Stouter, United States Army, 1969 to 1972, a Loveland High School graduate. Dave Volkman, United States Army, both a Loveland High School faculty member and graduate. Tom Vermwald, United States Marine Corps and United States Air Force, 1980 to 1990 and 2006 to 2017. Dan Walsh, United States Marine Corps, 1982 to 1986. Todd Williams, United States Navy, 1982 to 1988, a Loveland parent. And Larry Braley, United States Marine Corps, 1967 to 1973. Please join me in offering these people a warm round of applause for their service. Thank you so much. It's a joy now to begin the process of recognizing our students from the class of 2018 for their commitment to serve our nation. We will introduce each uh, branch in alphabetical order after the exception of one because of a student's commitment to our softball team. She needs to go first. So it's my pleasure to introduce to you Sergeant Medley, who will be introducing two students, I believe, with a commitment to the Ohio National Guard. Please welcome Sergeant Medley. Thank you, Mr. Mitchell. Can I have Private Roop come up and Audrey Swearingen? Oh, there you are. So just a few quick things. I uh, met Roop back in October, I believe, of this year. Um, you know, it takes an abundance amount of courage to come up to a recruiter and say that, you know, you, you want to join the military. And, you know, looking back at it, he had no hesitation. It was, you know, what do I do to get in? So, Roop is a kid that you literally don't have to tell him more than once to do something. You know, he's, he's somebody, if I've asked him to fix something, it's done. You know, the only thing I ask is, it's okay to change your facial expressions every now and then. <laughs> I can never guess what this kid is thinking. So, so uh, he's attending Ohio University um, next winter, I believe. So, and to do the ROTC program um, there. So, congratulations on 100% tuition. Yep, very welcome. <clears throat> And Audrey Swearingen, so I just met her about two months ago. She is currently going through the process. Um, we have a few more things to hash out before we can get her in. So, and you plan on attending UC? Yeah. All right. So she gets 100% tuition as well, and she gets to serve her country. And um, please welcome, or please uh, help me congratulate both of these. Thank you. There you go. Yeah. Next, we would like to bring up First Sergeant Jarvis from the Kentucky National Guard to introduce Brad Williams. First off, thanks to staff for doing this. This is, this is an amazing event. Uh, I don't see many schools doing this, so I appreciate you guys. Uh, Brad here join the Kentucky National Guard because he plans on going to school in Kentucky. So that's the big thing for him. He's going to attend Moorhead State. He, uh, he actually is my neighbor. So I live here in Loveland, Ohio. Brad, uh, I saw him grow up from probably 12 years old. I don't know. He's, he's been around for a minute. But he joined at 17 years old as a high school junior. He, um, he's already completed basic training, which is something that is super hard for anybody. So he's already well ahead of the game. He's been in for a little over a year now, almost two years. Um, he'll attend Moorhead State University. 
he will get a full ride college, he gets free room and board, all that stuff, and when he's done, he'll be debt free, he'll have a degree, he's actually going to learn what, another thing about this school is the music program. Brad auditioned to be in the, the National Guard band, uh, something that college major, or people that major in college uh, music do, and don't get a chance to, to uh, perform in the band. Brad has a, a talent, and it's, your music department helped him develop that, so very proud of that. Um, other than that, man, I'm proud of you. Glad to have you on the team. Yeah. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Next, I'd like to present a certificate to a young man who unfortunately couldn't be here today. Um, uh, Sergeant Marshall from the United States Air Force uh, was kind enough to share some very nice words about our student Ben Brinjulfson Reardon, um, who has already made that commitment to the Air Force, and my understanding is he might already have also participated in basic training. While he couldn't be here today because they're out of town, he and his parents are certainly thankful for this opportunity, and we'd like to recognize Ben at this time. Let's give him a round of applause. Next, it's a joy to uh, invite Sergeant First Class Bailey to come up and the students who are joining the Army. So you, Sergeant First Class Bailey and the students from the Army. Austin Montgomery, Mallory Beam, and Austin Chrisoffi. Uh, the other two that were mentioned besides uh, Austin, they've already shipped off the training. Uh, so they can't be here, uh, but it, I would like to at least make a special note of them, uh, especially uh, Ms. Mallory Beam. Uh, she enlisted uh, as a supply specialist, and I believe Austin Christoffi enlisted as a 11 x-ray, that's an infantryman. Um, so we'll just, I had something prepared, uh, but I don't think I want to bore you guys with all that. I don't think, especially the veterans, like, I think they kind of get it anyway. Uh, I would like to recognize you guys and thank you guys. Um, who have kind of come before me and come before Austin and these other uh, young men and women today uh, who've decided to take and volunteer to take the, the personal responsibility of securing our way of life and, and shouldering that burden. So thank you again, veterans uh, of all the different service branches. Uh, but this is kind of the first step for, uh, for Austin. Um, I do have something here for him. I have one comically oversized check. <laughs> um, most people will commit to like four or five years of going to a university or something after high school, and then they'll graduate, if they graduate, typically with about $100,000 in student loan debt. Uh, Austin has, uh, has decided to commit four years of his life to the United States Army, um, and for that, he's going to receive 100% full ride tuition uh, with the post 9-11 GI Bill for whatever school he decides to go to once he's completed. He's also gonna be able to get $4,500 a year for tuition assistance while he's serving, and then you got a bonus, didn't you? Yeah. Small bonus, $5,500. So, you know, that'll be a nice down payment on a Ford Mustang at 26% interest. <laughs> so, <laughs> so there's that. Um, really, I don't have a whole lot uh, to continue talking about. Austin's going to be a fantastic soldier. He's following his brother's footsteps. What's your brother doing? Uh, full driver. So he's going to be uh, a combat engineer just like his brother. Um, and I think that's probably going to make Dad happy. <laughs> there he is. All right, but yeah, let's go ahead and give uh, Austin a big round of applause. I forgot, I did have a, a certificate uh, signed by the uh, battalion commander that's welcoming him into the Army. Next, it is a joy to introduce, um, if he's here today, First Sergeant Doyle from our JROTC program at Live Oaks. Okay, that's okay. We weren't sure if he'd be able to make it. We came to find out last week uh, that a student is going to be uh, moving into the JROTC program at Live Oaks. And I'd like for him to come forward now. Please recognize Cody Smith.
Congratulations. Go ahead and stand right here. Cody and I had talked a little bit about the Army earlier this year, and he is dedicated to serving our nation. He's going to spend the first two years, though, of his commitment towards uh, training through the JROTC program at the Live Oaks uh, option that we feel is fantastic for students. Cody has a heart to serve, and he's committed to taking those steps necessary to ensure that he'll be able to enlist in two years. So I told Sergeant Bailey already, keep an eye out for Cody Smith. Let's help him. Uh, let's congratulate him on this commitment. Good job, sir. Next, we'd like to uh, bring up Staff Sergeant Jarvie from the United States Marine Corps. We're so thankful for his ability to come today. Our, our normal recruiter, Sergeant Cote, was unable to make it today because of a last minute call to Columbus. So Staff Sergeant Jarvie was able to come in and introduce um, two of our Marines and one in particular that uh, was able to make it today. Please help me in recognizing Gabe Thomas and Staff Sergeant Jarvie. Thank you. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's a pleasure to be here tonight. Um, so I was not the one to enlist these young men, but I was there for the initial process. Um, so I got to tell you, out of uh, I'd say out of everybody that comes out and they try Marine Corps physical training before they actually join, they don't come back. All right. So Gabe and Adam, they were the only two that kind of went out. They tested the waters, and believe me, it was not an easy one. They were on our initial strength test, and after that, we went and did this log run, things like that, and they were really worn out. But it turns out they were the only ones who kind of had that drive to better themselves and keep going with it and prove themselves, and they actually decided to enlist in the United States Marine Corps just for that challenge and stuff like that. So, Gabe, I want to thank you for everything that you do, and I look pleasure to serving with you in the future. I also have a letter of certification to certify that you have been Successfully passed the requirements, mental and moral, physical expectations, and have been accepted for enlistment into the late entry program of the United States Marine Corps. Next, we would like to invite Petty Officer First Class Maldonado and Petty Officer Rosario up from the United States Navy to recognize Senior Katie Huseman. Thank you, first of all, to uh, Loveland and all the faculty and all the students that are here, and obviously family as well. Uh, we met Katie back in November, and uh, she was got a charming and a very uh, lively attitude. Takes a lot of commitment and courage to step up and do what she's doing. Uh, and we were excited to bring her on board. Um, she has done outstanding performance with working out with us. We, we personally get together on Saturdays to do our runs, our mile and a half run and so forth. So we're looking forward to the big things that she's gonna be doing in the United States Navy. Um, her rating in the United States Navy is Master at Arms. Um, after graduation, she'll be shipping off to boot camp in Chicago, and then she will follow up her military police academy in San Antonio, Texas. So we're very excited to bring Katie on board. So please uh, help us uh, congratulate her. Would uh, Amy Van Stream please come forward and uh, Mr. Smith as well come forward and Lieutenant Halusek, who is gonna introduce Liam Smith as a winner and this is a huge honor and very hard to attain, a, the winner of a four year Army ROTC scholarship. So Lieutenant Halusek, uh, yes, as Mr. Mitchell said, um, I haven't had the pleasure of meeting Liam, but I've heard many great things um, from Mr. Mitchell. Um, but uh, Liam has earned a four-year ROTC scholarship. He'll be attending the University of Tampa. Um, I'm from Xavier University myself, so like I said, I haven't met him, but um, 
The scholarship speaks a lot towards his uh, character, his academics, as well as his athletics. And I uh, just want to thank him and welcome to the team. Very good. We want to say so many thanks uh, again to our veterans uh, for your commitment to our country. We want to wish well to uh, our students from the class of 2018 as they're making this commitment. Uh, Mrs. Johnson, any last words that you'd like to share? Absolutely. We would love uh, here as we dismissed for the families to come forward. And we do have a gift from Margie from our American Legion Auxiliary for the moms. So specifically, Margie will be up here for the moms to give you a little information and a little gift. Uh, but uh, families, we definitely want you to take an opportunity to have a photo taken up here. Uh, friends, welcome as well. Use the backdrop, smile, shake hands, and we want to say, Thank you again. It's an honor to be able to do this. Thank you for being here today.